In this video, we will demonstrate and discuss best practices for receiving a shipment of biocontrol agents and how to release them into the crop. The first step is unpacking the shipment of biologicals. When opening the box, the contents should be cool, there should be no excessive moisture, and no smell of ammonia or yeast. If something doesn't seem right, you may want to check the quality of the biocontrol agents before releasing them. You can find more information on this by following the link at the end of the video. Keep bottles and tubes in a horizontal position until use to prevent compression of the contents and to make sure the natural enemies don't suffocate. It is best to release the biocontrol agents immediately. If you have to store the product, check the storage conditions on the label or the supplier website. Note that a normal fridge temperature is often too cold. In this case, you may be better off keeping the product at room temperature, or use a cooler with ice packs. Humidity is very important when it comes to the storage of many biologicals, especially for predatory mite sachets. It is better to store the products in the actual greenhouse, instead of an office or cooler. Boxes should be opened to prevent the buildup of carbon dioxide and be placed under a bench or trough to keep them out of direct sunlight. Microbial products can be stored until their best before date. Make sure to follow the guidelines on the package, since many of these products need refrigeration. Release methods will vary for different products. Don't shake tubes and bottles. This could damage the biocontrols inside. Instead, gently roll them to mix contents. For crawling biocontrol agents, like mites, Sprinkle a small amount on the foliage. Product that falls off onto the bench or floor is wasted product, as most crawling biocontrol agents won't be able to make their way back up. Crawling bios need plant-to-plant -plant contact to disperse. If plant canopies are touching, releases can be made by broadcasting the product at regular intervals along the row or bench. Instead of manually broadcasting, it is possible to blow mites in vermiculite or brand-based products. Some biocontrol companies sell special mite blowers, but there are growers who make their own. Whichever blower you use, you will have to calibrate it by checking for the presence of live, intact mites on the crop at different distances, since some blowers can damage or kill the mites. If plants are spaced apart, other tactics have to be used to ensure proper coverage, such as using individual mite sachets on each pot or plant. For flying biocontrol agents, less release points are needed as they can generally get where they need to go. Apply loose product within the plant canopy to ensure they don't fly straight up and out of the greenhouse. Be aware of the direction and strength of the airflow as these insects are easily carried off or may refuse to fly if there's too much wind you may want to release them at dawn or dusk when there is less ventilation happening. Instead of sprinkling, you can use release boxes to prevent material from falling off the plant. Put only a thin layer of material inside each release box. Distribute the biocontrols evenly throughout the crop and make extra releases directly on the plants in pest hotspots. When using parasitic wasp cards, or mite sachets, hang them directly on the plants. It is better to hang them on the stems, not on leaves that may fall off or be removed. If using cards in a propagation area with mist, hang them on a stick covered with a styrofoam cup to prevent them from becoming wet. Correct placement of sachets in production areas is important to optimize performance. Place them within the canopy and out of direct sunlight. This provides optimal humidity levels in the sachet so they keep producing over several weeks. Sachets placed in the sun will peak after one to two weeks and may not give your crops the long-term protection you expect. The sachets already have a small release hole. Do not enlarge the hole or tear open the bags as they will become too dry. In potted crops, don't allow mite sachets to touch the surface of the growing media. This can lead to excess moisture and the sachet contents may rot, which will also limit their lifespan. Another option is to use foil sachets that are more water resistant. Some biocontrols can be released using banker plant systems that provide either non-pest prey or an ideal crop for reproduction of biocontrol agents. Additionally, supplemental food, such as pollen, 
Ephestia eggs, or Artemia cysts can be purchased commercially to help predators establish and reproduce. More information on the release methods or instructions for specific biocontrol agents can be found on the websites of the biocontrol supply companies.